We're recording and see and no we're rolling swallowing. I just yeah. see it. No. Feels great on everything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's why he looks so young. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this in uh, three, two, one. What are you doing? Testies in my mouth. Get on the ground, you fucking pledge. Ew. Welcome to the greatest podcast experience of your life. This is the Frat Chat Podcast. All young men like three things. Dude, dudes, <laughs> Featuring Carlos Garcia and Chris... Yeah, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the greatest podcast in the history of podcasting time. It's the Fred Chat Podcast. I'm Carlos Garcia with Chris Sebo Moore. How's it going, Mr. Moore? Good, man. How's it going, Mr. Carlos? Oh, my friend, I am ready to rock because it's Valentine's Day week. Everybody's going to be all lovey-dovey. Uh, in fact, what is today? Today is Valentine's today day. is the day that today this episode airs is Valentine's Day. So by the time this comes out, you'll be maybe listening to this uh, snuggled up uh, next to your sweet someone, you know, with your arm around them. Uh, maybe you're at your favorite restaurant or out in a movie theater, and then uh, you look over at them and you say, "Hey, no one's looking." Then they unzip your pants. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm going off track. Uh, too early for these jokes. Too early for these jokes. <laughs> I did see someone. I used to work at a Red Robin once, and uh, I walked by a couple. And when I look over, I say, what the fuck? Uh, first, the, the lady moved over to his side of the table, which was weird. Because at first, they were on the opposite ends. And then when I look over, it's like, oh, she's giving him a hand job. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's wrong on a lot of levels because for one, um, it's just gross. And for two, uh, no lady can jack off a dude better than the dude can jack himself off. No, it's took real. forever probably. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. uh, but I walked away and I will say that they tip very nicely. <laughs> Tips for huge. huge. <laughs> yeah, they just stuck it to the table. <laughs> nice. If I was there, I would have taken the tip off the table and I would have gone like this. Yeah. this. Using a sunscreen. You know, it's excellent. Yeah, put a little under your eyes. Oh you know? shit. So speaking of which, if you're sitting with your significant other, you know, uh, if you're like me and Julie, we like to take it easy on Valentine's Day. We'll do uh, you know, like flowers and some dinner or something that we cook ourselves but then we'll actually go do something either a couple days before a couple days after so restaurants are packed there's things to do but so a friday this friday the 17th at 7 15 p.m if you want to do some leftover valentine's day plan you should come over to broadway comedy club at 7 15 p.m people because the greatest comedy show of all time is back and baby we have a lineup for you. We got Ron Prendamano hosting this bitch. You got me and Mr. Mo in the house. Kali Rahman coming back from Conan. Veronica Kwiatkowski from Hot Sets Comedy coming back. We got Kenny's Circa, who you've seen on Netflix, coming to the show for the very first time. And of course, we got our awesome headliner, Carmen Lagala's back, who you've seen the late show with Stephen Colbert. We're going to keep the stack lineups rolling, people. So come on out to the show. Get your tickets now at tiny.cc slash greatest comedy show. Use promo code FRATCHAT. Save 15% or head to the Broadway Comedy Club website right now and get your tickets there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit's going to be good. This shit's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Mao. It's uh, time to take ourselves to the idiot of the week. And this week, actually, we're going to take ourselves to your old stomping grounds, Chicago, Chicago, for the idiot of the week. Is um, it me? 
no, not you this week. Uh, you, uh, oh. <laughs> you've come close several times, but no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> like when you posted about the show, but you didn't even tag the show, and it's like, come on, dude. <laughs> oh. I left you a close second. But <laughs> this is even worse because have you heard of Skokie, Illinois? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. That's, so it's, it's Skokie's very Jewy. Oh. <laughs> it's like Pikesville of of you know when we, when we grew up like Pikesville was like you know what I mean but 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 when you have um but when you have like a more like a a, a Jewy area that area is gonna be oh clean God. it's gonna be fancy it's bougie yeah yeah no like he means Jewy in the nicest way uh, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very it's very predominantly Jewish. No, notice uh, notice Simo got his nose made smaller. Now he's making all these Jewy comments. <laughs> <laughs> but you you know what though, like like a lot of Chicago's like South Chicago, when it's like St. Patrick's Day, people are messy. I mean, they paint their kids green, they paint their animals green. They're just you know Chicago. Like whenever the like. like a team, a team wins like the World Series or like something like it's such people are such a mess, but you don't see that in Skokie. People are well behaved, and I think it's because they're not drunk Irish Catholics. Just saying. Well, but go ahead. Not this guy, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, police in Skokie said that a suspect held up a Seven Eleven at four eight three four Church Street at Gross Gross Point Road. Uh, he held it up at gunpoint, and then he then ran off. But apparently, and uh, this is why this guy made the list, the cops did not have a difficult time finding the guy because he literally left a bunch of cash scattered around the nearby Weber Park golf course during his escape. So obviously, police eventually brought the suspect guy uh, <laughs> into custody after a foot chase. They were like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then, uh, and then he, when they got him, he was complaining of shortness of breath. Uh, but uh, you know, they didn't want any. And this and this, I will give ca- credit to the cops. They didn't want any bad uh, cases coming up, so they decided to call to offer him. Uh, actually, no, first responders from the Skokie Fire Department came. They called the fire department to check on the guy. And when they got there, he was like, "No, I don't want treatment." So he was just bullshitting. Um, so, so he, he left cash like a like a trail of breadcrumbs. Yeah, essentially, like Hansel and Gretel, you know. Just, yeah, <laughs> these little breadcrumbs, but just cash. Like he like comes out, and how much money did you get from a Seven Eleven that you can just leave a trail of cash directly towards you? Like, how does that happen? Mm. It's a lot of effort. And what? A, and like to waste it all. What a fucking dumbass! Come on, Chicago. I expect it better from you. You're a fucking idiot. If I was gonna, if I was gonna steal anything or rob something, I would just, I would just break into like one of those like MT or CTA machines and just take the cash from that. How would you get that out though? I don't know. <laughs> but that would be that would be what that would be my my Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, um, would, like scheme but there's gotta be a lot of money in those because whenever they change they're doing like construction of those machines because in new york we have the mta when chicago is called the cta they uh, uh they always have like a armed guard i'm like oh they have an armed guard because there's a lot of fucking money in that i yeah. what i have to do is partner with the armed guard and say hey hey i'll split it 50 50 we take out the guy and then we, <laughs> we split the cash <laughs> So, uh, FBI, NSA, if you're listening, note this was Simo's idea and plan. I am having nothing to do with this, so uh, please don't. But think of it this way: a vending machine. Are you putting twenties in there? Or are you putting a dollar? You probably like a dollar. Yeah. Well, when you're getting like a monthly, know, it's like fives now. Times are tough. It's like fives now. Vending Maybe. machines are expensive. <laughs> but when you're buying, when you're putting money on like an MT or CTA card, you're not just putting like a dollar here or there. You're, you're putting like, like 10, 20, 20 whatever. So Should that's where the money is. So fuck 7 Eleven. Y'all better y'all better think about this before you steal. Otherwise you'd be out of breath and then crying for <laughs> a, the fire department to come and save you, you know. Crying like a bitch. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I gotta give a shout out to CBS News 
dot com. Uh, you know, this is now Florida can give us a thank you. You're welcome, Florida, for not picking someone from you. Uh, this one, this one just have to be called out. Skokie. Yeah, but people in Skokie, let me tell you, have you ever heard of a Jewish community um, being um, like misbehaved? No. This guy is probably from Florida and came to Skokie <laughs> and stole from a 7 Eleven. Predominantly Jewish communities do not engage in riffraff. I'm telling you. <laughs> if you go to like a Jewish day school, those kids are behaved. I'm just saying. Oh I'm not God. I'm not necessarily supporting that side of my family. I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I bet you that guy was not from Skokie. <laughs> and they did not release his name. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I uh, I really wish they had because <laughs> that is a very good theory. That is a very good theory. Okay. Well, Mr. Mo, take a sip of my, my little shake here. Oh, oh, is he going to swallow? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, man. Dirty uh, fuck. <clears throat> you know, I just don't want to make a mess, you know, especially for the for the viewers now that we have viewers. Did I tell you the other day these kids try to snatch headphones off my head? Really? Yeah, it's these headphones. Oh, what the fuck? I was leaving the gym and I left Osmar will work out his legs for like two hours. After like an hour, I'm like, I can't walk. So I looked it. I was walking down the street and I saw these kids like eyeing me up and I was like, they're gonna try to engage in some shit. I'm the worst one to do that too, because I'll swing. Anyway, I'm at I'm I get to the I'm about to cross the street, but I stopped because it's a red light and, and the hand said no. And so then uh this kid ran up and tried to snatch my headphones and I snatched him off my head before he could, and I turned to him and I went like that. And then he jumped back and he was like, Whoa. I was like, Hey, don't touch me, kid. And then uh, he was like, well, you going to do something? And I said, you know, I might. I might. I was so calm and relaxed. He's like, you going to hit me? I said, you know, I might. I don't know. And then he's like, well, then you'll go to jail. I said, I said, buddy, I've been there four times. I've been there. So, <laughs> and then he's like, well, he's like, faggot. And I was like, yeah. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> but you don't get many more chances after this. And then the light turned and I walked, but I thought to myself like, man, I handled that so well because I'm so confrontational and finally my anger man my court ordered anger management came into um a, a, a fact here and and uh i was proud of myself but i thought to myself if this kid did put his hands on me this is like a 16 year old if i were to defend myself i'm gonna go to jail because it's a kid you know what i mean no no he was trying to rob you he was trying to rob you it's maybe not- his friend his friends were all like Hoo! uh but i thought to myself if i if i were to go back in time and do this again, I think I would probably just take my phone out. I record the whole interaction and I would send that video to all the nearby schools and be like, is this your kid? You all <laughs> teach your kid how to, how to behave. Put it on TikTok, that's dude. probably, that's, that's what I would have done. I think and you put it on TikTok and give it two days, man. That dude is found and canceled. <laughs> Fuck you, kid. Cancel that kid before he even becomes and like, Anything. come on, who's teaching 16 year olds to fucking drop the F word like that? Like, that's not cool. The fuck? I thought, well, I thought Gen Z was better than that. Like, come on, kids. Let me tell you, it wouldn't happen in Skokie. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> touche. All right. So, it's time to get to it, Mr. Mo, because as we said, today is Valentine's Day, baby. So, you know, you're going to, you're probably, some of you are going to have a, some, Maybe some first dates tonight, uh, which I advise you to run <laughs> before you even get to this. Uh, you know, some of you are been together with your with your boo for a few months, a few weeks. Some of you been together for years and years. However, here's the thing. Here's the thing that we all have in common for Valentine's Day. If you have a date tonight, you're trying to get some. Everybody is. Everybody is. Just want to get some. Little, little flim flam, you know, little flim flam merino, a uh, little, <laughs> little slap of wooby. I don't know. I don't know what any of this means, <laughs> but you want to get some. So here's the thing the you probably wooby. have plans, and they, and they involve that dinner, uh, maybe a movie, you know, and then you get to the sexy time. 
Oh, and it seems that we have lost Simo. I'm sure he'll be back into it. Uh, so you'll probably have some sexy time, and you wanna, you wanna, you wanna have some dinner planned. So we're gonna give you some foods that you definitely want to avoid. Because here's the thing: you eat the wrong thing, and your sexy time is ruined. Ruined. So we're here to prevent that. And uh, let's see if uh, Simo is not back with us. You said Dippo, Droppo, Whoopi, something? <laughs> and I was like, what? And then my computer said, nope. <laughs> Your internet couldn't handle it. <laughs> I was like, what? My internet and I were on the same page? Or like, what's no, talking no, about? it's okay. It's okay. Dippo, Dubo, Whoopi? I don't know. It sounds derogatory. Or Flim Flam Flam Aruna. <laughs> Flam 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 around, you know. So we're, we're gonna give the people the top ten ingredients that you or definitely top ten foods that they definitely don't want to eat tonight at their Valentine's Day dinner before sexy time. If you want things to go well, just say you can't eat these. You can choose to ignore us, but fair warning, it probably won't go well from these. Note. Uh, a lot of this list will come from experience, you guys, so you can trust the advice we're saying. This was not something we just went out and Googled like some lazy fuck. We didn't go to yeah, a, a friend told us. <laughs> yeah. A friend. <laughs> totally a friend. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't go check out no listicles or anything like that, like some of the other podcasts do. No, this is a life experience podcast, baby. So when we tell you not to eat these 10 things for your sexy time tonight. Just trust us. Trust us. And you definitely don't want to combine them either. Then it's just going to be a whole, a whole mess of things, literally. <laughs> yeah, Not the fun kind either. Not, you know. <laughs> so it's time to get to it, Mr. Mo. The top 10 foods not to eat for sexy time. Uh, why don't you start us out with one? Okay. So when you hear, when you hear the word prune, like prune juice, don't you think of old people like trying to pass stool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. When I, think, when I hear the word prune, I just think of like like old people who are constipated, and you know prunes help. Well, to What's me, that, raisins are like pass me the prune juice. Crap, Pappy has to take a shit. <laughs> It's yeah, been man. six you get days. That, you gotta get that poison out. So, so uh, to me, raisins is just like one like degree of separation away from a prune. And I don't know what it is, but whenever I've been to the movie theater and I've gotten raisinets, I never get to see the entire movie. You know, because wow. because raisinets go right through me. And whenever I talk to people about this. And they don't believe me. I say, go home and eat eat a bag of raisinets and tell me how long it takes before it ruins your night. So raisinets, I don't know what it is. Like I don't really do – chocolate doesn't really settle with me well, so it's kind of a double whammy. But if you eat a whole lot of raisinets, you are going to have to poop. You're going to have to poop. <laughs> so if you're at a movie theater, get Twizzlers. <laughs> you know? It's absolutely going to happen. And here, And here's the thing. You could be sitting like – there's three times it depends on how how fast your system is you know you could be in the middle of the movie and you'll be like "Uh oh gotta go or you could be like on the commute home so then you have to dispose of your date so that you can get yourself to a bathroom and i don't see you demolish the earth or it's gonna happen during sexy time and then you don't fucking you don't you don't bounce back from i have to take a shit right before sexy time moment you know what i mean you're butt naked there Thinks you're sexy. He's, oh God, I'm so sorry. You gotta go to the bathroom. And you just sit down. Like, <laughs> you don't just come back yeah, and say, sure. "Hey, let's." Uh, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but like, you know, okay, raisins come from grapes. If you eat more than your fair share of grapes, you're gonna get in a stomach ache because there's so much sugar. Even though it's not like sugar from like. Um, the grocery store, like the natural sugars, is give me a stomach ache. Same thing with apples. So, you know, if you eat a lot of fruit, uh, it's it's going to tear your stomach up. And so, uh, you hear that, Julie? I think, Fuck apples. 
Yeah, and so when you eat raisinets, just something happens. I guess it's just like a so it's, it's a lethal injection of like like pre poop. <laughs> <laughs> gonna happen you can't have pre-poop if you want to have sexy timing as a note raisin nuts are delicious too you know if you're by yourself on valentine's day eat away get a whole pack get two boxes just fucking no one cares but if you want to have sexy time tonight and heaven forbid you know yeah let's say like for example in simo's case him or or mario want to have some (laughs) some booty time (laughs) And they eat a box of raisinets. It's not gonna go well. You see all those white walls they have over there? They're not gonna be so white. <laughs> no, that's why I'm facing this way. You don't want to see what's, what's this way. Uh, I think that um, <laughs> whenever I open up a bag of raisinets, I open it up, I take a whiff, and I say, "I'll see you later." Yeah. And then I start eating them. I'll see you in two hours. My routine. <laughs> And they're not exactly the same. They're just like clustered together. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. In and out. It's almost like. All right, what do you have first? What's first on your list? So. Corn! I had no corn! What movie is that from? Uh, Oh, God. White Chicks, right? Yeah, yeah, White Chicks. Corn! Huh? Um, so for me, my I'm gonna start with uh, one that might not seem obvious at first because they're delicious and I fucking love them and they're terrible for you. But say limit. <laughs> yeah, you can get apparently. Ask Michael Douglas. You can get throat cancer. You know if you. Uh... Catherine Zeta, you got a torn up, <laughs> yeah. raunchy ass scooter girl. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta take a sample from that vagina and see what. <laughs> So yeah, cutterlingus apparently. Uh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> that's what that's what he said. So uh, you want to limit the sodas, you guys, because you know here's the thing. You uh, imagine you're sitting there on the couch, much like this one. You know what I mean? You're sitting there with your significant other, like, hey, baby, uh, this is a great movie we're watching. Uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Yeah, totally love this. Uh, dinner was great. Oh yeah, I loved it too. Good. So, I've been wanting to kiss you all night. Oh my god, that's so romantic. Great. And then you lean in for the kiss, and then you remember that you've had three cherry cokes during dinner, and all of a sudden this massive burp just comes up. And you're just like. And then your first kiss is ruined. Ruined! Because soda gives gas, people. There's a lot of gas. Uh, It makes you bloated. And here's the thing. Soda burps are the worst. They're so gross. It's all the it's all like the gas that builds up in your tummy, and literally your stomach will be like distended until you let that nasty burp out. And they usually smell like shit. And for me, especially for some reason, cherry coke in particular, of all the cokes, cherry coke just makes me fucking have disgusting burps. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, isn't cherry coke basically Dr. Pepper? No, because Dr. Pepper has like a bunch of different flavors. I think cherry is one of the flavors, but it's like <clears throat> you know what one of the flavors actually is. No, I don't they know. use it's plums. Like, it's like cherry, vanilla, you know what plums? And something else, but it's like fifty-six. You know what plums Those turn into? Song about it. Plums turn What's into that? prunes. Can you hear me? Uh, you're cutting out a little bit. Oh man! God damn it! I'm cutting out again. Yeah, now you're back. I'm back. Can you hear yeah, me? Sort of. It's it's like a little glitchy. Hmm. Let me see what I can but do. It's to a, fix. But it's okay. I can hear you well enough now. Oh, okay. So, um, in Dr. Pepper, there is, uh, I think a lot of plum flavor, and sure. plums turn into prunes, which help you poop. Just saying. Wow, that's crazy. That's true. That's very true. 
Now, yep. <laughs> so then, so you're saying that with this one, <laughs> it's a combination of your last one and mine. This one, essentially, it's a double yeah, whammy. That's coming out in both ends. Double whammy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I want to look up. Let's see. Up. Um, um, ingredients, Dr. Pepper. Let's see. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna look up. Does Dr. Pepper make you shit? <laughs> let's see. Ten things you know about Dr. Pepper. Um. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, Simply called food.com says yes. Soda Pop Craft says no. So I'm going to listen. Uh, Dr. Pepper. Yes, Dr. Pepper makes you poop and causes diarrhea since it contains high amounts of water and sugar. While these components don't give a laxative effect, they can help soften stool and regular, regulate bowel movement. Thus, excessive consumption of such can lead to diarrhea. Okay, so listen to this. There, these are 23 flavors that make up the unique taste of Dr. Pepper. You ready for this? Go on. Okay. Lightning round. Amaretto. Oh, this is in alphabetical order, too. Amaretto. Almond. Blackberry. Black lic licorice. Carrot. Clove. Cherry. Caramel. Cola. Ginger. Juniper. Lemon. Molasses. Nutmeg. Orange. Prune. Plum. Pepper. Root beer. Rum. Raspberry, tomato, and vanilla. All things that make you shit your pants. What the fuck? You're, you heard it here first, folks. There's amaretto and rum in Dr. Pepper. What the fuck? Get me drunk? Yeah. <laughs> I had three Dr. Peppers last night. That's why I was with that hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you. I, I, yeah. I drank too many Dr. Peppers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, speaking of drinking things, you shouldn't have coffee. I know a lot, of, a lot of people like to go to coffee dates, but like there's like two types of breaths I don't like. I don't like breath that is post cigarette. I don't like breath that is post coffee. Mm -hmm. So coffee breath to me is already pretty gross. So when you go on a coffee date and you expect this smooch, that's pretty gnarly. But also uh, coffee goes right through me. Yep. It's like it. the moment my lips touch coffee i feel like my other booty lips start like you know they, they, they uh pucker up you know what i mean so so not only uh does my breath reek and is my butthole ready for some action in the worst kind of way but the coffee also makes your urine kind of stink yeah. and so if you were to go to the bathroom at someone's house after having a lot of coffee, um, it's, you're going to need to use air freshener. <laughs> but then they're going to think you pooped. So like, and what you you ever, like I've been too. in the bathroom after coworkers. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, you blew that shit up. And they're like, no, I didn't. I'm like, yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. They're like, no, I had a lot of coffee. I'm like, ew. So <laughs> it's just gross. Like no one wants to put your dick in their mouth if it's, creating that kind of explosion in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Now, and here's the thing. That's why most coffee dates end with usually people going their separate ways too, because they got to go to their homes and take massive shits afterwards. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, black coffee, diarrhea. Mm -hmm. That's why I get mine as a Frappuccino. So, you know, comes out looking nice. <laughs> comes out like a Oh yeah. <laughs> It looks nice. Can you draw a picture? Yeah, it's, Describe it's a smiley it. Face. <laughs> it's almost it's it's like a it's like a happy Mr. Hanky. Comes out. He's real, you guys. All you have to do is drink thirteen frappuccinos with extra caramel. <laughs> and I don't know if it's the sugar high, but that shit talks to you. <laughs> the only people I see order frappuccinos from Starbucks are either children. Or obese people, <laughs> and I'm kind of right in the middle. <laughs> those two, those two circles are right there. That's my, that's my personality right there. <laughs> that's it. Uh, they're so good, that dude. And and now the things like they just had a regular caramel frappuccino, but now they have like 
like all these like aggressively caramelly kinds. It's almost too much, but like I've tried some of them and it's like, oh God, it's too, it's too many calories. So you can't, you know, <laughs> but boy, it's good. Anyways, that's all we have for drinks. I think I believe so. Nah, yeah, that's the, the rest should be hardened like your stools <laughs> after you eat enough of these shit. So this next one for me is one that might seem like an oxymoron to you guys because, you know, you're thinking you're going to eat healthy going into your meal tonight. You're going to be limber. You're going to be ready to go. You know what I mean? Um, but let me point to you this example right here. So you're sitting there at dinner. You know, you're at the restaurant or cooking at home, wherever it is you're eating right now. Uh, everything's going great. You go in to lean in for a romantic kiss. And then your date looks at you and smiles nervously. But what do you see? A fucking piece of spinach is stuck to her teeth from dinner or his teeth. And he's just like sitting there like, ah, but now she's smiling and she's going in for the kiss. And you're like, no, what do you do? What do you do? You can't stop the kiss. You got to kiss this person, but there's fucking dirty ass spinach. And ah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So you want to limit spinach. Or really any other foods that kind of get stuck in your teeth. Things like uh, like if you if you have smoothies, you know, uh, blackberries and things like that, the seeds can get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, strawberries. Strawberries. The yep, yep. All kinds of shit like that. Pepper. Yes, yes. When they come over with their pepper grinder at California Pizza Kitchen, they're like, you want some fresh pepper? You say, no, I don't want that shit in my teeth. That's true. And pepper also makes you poop, too. Ask for hot sauce. So. <laughs> Yeah, God. Or maybe not. <laughs> Your Caesar salad. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely want to avoid uh, spinach and food of the kind. You know, anything that'll get stuck in there, you don't want to do it. Because also, you know, I'm just pointing the scenario from from your point of view, giving the kiss. Imagine if you're the person that has the spinach in your teeth. How do you bounce back from that? It's ruined. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm that person. I'll tell you that you have something in your teeth, oh, but the average person I don't think will. And yeah. you shouldn't expect a stranger to ha- be at that comfort level to tell you, hey, you have something in your teeth. Yeah. It's just uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and uh, what if you kiss someone with shit in their teeth and you're using tongue and then that shit ends it's up in your teeth? Ah! I would die. I would literally, if I'm eating or if I'm like kissing you and I taste your dinner, it's, it's over. It's, it's instantly over. I'm out. Maybe you're going to have to pay the check because I, I like, <laughs> I'm out. I'm, I am so out. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I don't get down with that. <laughs> oh, God. Bad news. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of alluded to it, but. Spicy food is a no go, specifically for me. I don't know about you, but like, let me tell you, like a spicy taquito will go in one end and they'll fucking explode out the other. And for some of the things that gay people do, you know, don't get me wrong, I love a good turd. Like I, I, in the morning, I like to wake up, sit on the toilet, push up a good fat turd, and I feel like I'm ready to start my day. I don't know what it is about nine o'clock specifically, but every nine o'clock a.m., I'm ready to just like. Lose a pound. Yeah, I'm dude. Fresh. I'm the same it's way. A feeling. I'm the same way. But my, my, my I ate... moved to like 10 a.m. now, though, for some reason. Oh, I really? This, I don't know if it's the daylight savings. You know what I mean? My my ass is never never accustomed to the time switch. <laughs> yeah. But but I've noticed it's a 10 a.m. poop. Normally I'm at 9 a.m. or now it's 10. But oh yeah, I'm ready. I've come out there. And I'm like, oh yeah, and that's how I start my day. It's great. You know, I noticed this fairly recently. At KFC, they had the, like the spicy chicken tenders, mm-hmm. um, flaming. You know, this flaming guy was eating some flaming tenders. You are what you eat, and right? Then, <laughs> you know, and then the next day in the morning, it's like, I mean, it's brutal. Yeah. You don't want anybody coming down, eating your ass or touching your booty hole if it's all kinds of torn the yeah. fuck up. And that's what this spicy food does to you. I love Earth, spicy food. Too, a little bit. My stomach. 
Yeah. yeah, my stomach doesn't love it, and my asshole definitely does not like to be on fire. No, um, no, and that just happened to me literally yesterday, two day, two nights ago. We had Mexican <laughs> food, and I guess I had the spicy shit. And I was pooping the next morning. It was like, ah! <laughs> my my asshole yeah. sounded like a mariachi. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> little 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 Mexican man came out and uh, started playing guitars. And uh, it, got, it was really epic. It was like, oh shit, who are these people? And it was my asshole, like, Aah! Aah! yeah, Aah! I've been there. Underlay, underlay, yeah, yeah. My asshole oh, sounds like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh Lord, yeah, spicy food. Definitely, you definitely want to avoid that, you guys. Um, it just won't go well, and if and especially Gen Z, Gen Z likes to eat butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you, guys like are, you guys are big booty eaters out there for some reason. I don't know where there was a big shift. Uh, I think maybe it started with like that song. Maybe it was millennials' fault. There was that song, "Eating Booties Like It's Groceries." That was pretty famous for a while, I remember. That's a song? Yeah, I never heard that I'm before. Booty like it's groceries. <laughs> Ew. I forget who it was. Uh, remember in 2020 when we wiped our groceries down with um, Clorox? <laughs> yeah. That's after eating Maybe they should do that. You have to wipe it down. Like eating it. <laughs> or else, you know, you, uh, you don't want to get sick. <laughs> Got to wipe the booty off those groceries. <laughs> I wipe my booty hole with wet wipes on the regular. And then when I go places and they don't have wet wipes, I'm like, ooh, I'm like, I hope I don't have to poop here because I don't have a wet wipe, you know? And the song was with Omarion. It was Jene Aiko. The song was called Groceries. And so uh, we obviously can't, can't play it because uh, we'll get sued. But yeah, uh, eating booty. <laughs> so maybe that's where it all started. Uh, so yeah, if you're if you like to eat booty, or have your booty eaten, just do someone a favor and don't eat spicy foods. That's just all we're saying. Again, remember, you can choose to ignore us, but note, it will not end well for you. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Well said. So the next one for me is, uh, again, I'm not trying to get people not to eat healthy, but uh, broccoli is the next one for me because, you know, you try to eat healthy, so you get the broccoli. But guess what? When your shirt comes off before sexy time, your tummy goes from feeling slim to smuggling basketballs because broccoli increases bloating, folks, which can lead to the appearance of a giant belly. When your normal stomach... I didn't know that. Yeah. It gives, plus, uh, you know, it gives you gas. Uh, so you don't want to be farting away when someone's on top of you. You know what I mean? Uh, or you trying to sit down on the couch for sexy time and you let one rip and you do the whole thing. Oh, it wasn't me. It was the couch. I swear. And they start trying to make the noise again, but of course it won't because it was your asshole that made the noise. So I'm telling you, avoid the broccoli. Uh, maybe take, get the grilled mushrooms. I've never heard anything bad about mushrooms. You know? Yeah. Um, broccoli also contributes to um, uh, acid reflux. Who knew? Really? You wouldn't think of uh, uh, broccoli as being acidic, but if you have acid reflux, it's bad news. Holy shit. I had acid reflux last night when I was fucking trying to go to bed, and I had broccoli for dinner. Huh. Wow. I don't want, Maybe I'm make, uh, Let me confirm that, because I say a lot of shit that's not true. Broccoli um, acid let's see. reflux. Broccoli. Broccoli. Acid. No, they're good for acid, for acid reflux. Oh, it is? Because broccoli is also high in vitamin C. It's a superfood in, in terms of easing your acid reflux symptoms. So it's supposed to make me feel better. Well, I did have acid reflux last night. It's gross. But oh, despite being a superfood, dietitians have linked broccoli and heartburn. That's what it was. What's the difference between heartburn and acid reflux? I felt like it was acid reflux. Though, cause I, had like I don't know, but I have this article from Heart Central dot com it says that um if your acid reflux is associated with gas and indigestion foods like broccoli will add gas to your digestive system triggering reflux 
Oh. So all these articles are saying don't eat it. There you go. And uh, well, it's confusing. Heartburn is caused by acid reflux. So I guess if you have one. Well, my mom had her first heart attack. She was convinced she she was having heartburn because of garlic. And she was in the she was in the emergency room saying, I think it's just heartburn. Dude. Like garlic. And they're like, they're like, no, you definitely have a heart attack. She's like, no. When my appendix yeah, ruptured, like, I, I, I had nachos. I, I just thought, you know, I eat these nachos and I, before yeah. the next day, my stomach uh-huh. is weird. I'm like, obviously, yeah. I, I have explosive diarrhea coming up and it just never came. It was fucking my appendix. Totally. <laughs> just mm-hmm. collapsed four days later. <laughs> so I, I can't say I've been there. So uh, Bad yeah, news. the broccoli, you guys, especially if you're going to, you know, do a little straddle action later on or you, know, you don't want to. Rip your shirt off. <laughs> Straddle action. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're, you're going to ma- be making some lovies and potentially scissoring. You know, like when you see those baby videos where it's like they have gas, so they like lift their feet, their legs up and they just like move them up like that. And then the baby just lets one rip and, pff, and it starts laughing. <laughs> you don't want that to happen to you. You know what I mean? Someone lifts your legs up. You're like, <laughs> not good. That's not funny. good. Or you're like, okay, so obviously, <laughs> let one rip, not good. Well, obviously, we want our listeners to be healthy, and we're not saying don't eat these ever, it's just don't eat them on a date, you yeah, know what I mean? Before or time. before a date. The next one I have is a healthy food as well, but onions to make your breath stink really bad, and it lingers, and when you're kissing somebody, it's bad news. So, if you if I were to get a side salad, I would either ask for no onions or I would just not eat them, I would put them aside because even just a couple raw onions in a side salad it's going to make your breath disgusting if you're going to get let's say a burger take the onions off i had a situation one time in chicago where uh actually there's this guy designer and he was uh his shop was near my shop and my boss said that he thought it'd be a good idea if um, this guy and i connected because the guy expressed interest in me and i guess my boss at the time was trying to pimp me out Oh shit! Nice. He's like, you just go out with them, see what happens. I was like, oh. So I actually did. He took me. This guy was loaded. You know how like the you know how like rich people are cheap as fuck. Right. He took me to a dollar burger night. No. He said they had the best burgers. I'm like, really? No. Took me to a dollar burger night at this gay bar. He got a burger with lots of onions in it, and uh, he, I was mid chew. I was mid chew and he planted one on me with tongue and like he pulled back and he says, how was that? And I was like, what? I was like, well, for one, it wasn't warranted for two. I was not done chewing. So that was gross. And for three, if you were planning that attack, then maybe you should have requested no onions. On yeah, dude. Come on. You know? And and to pair that, I'm going to, we're gonna pair uh, garlic with onions because it's the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, both great. Don't get me wrong. I love fucking garlic. I love fucking some grilled onions and some stuff. But yeah, if you want to kiss boo boo, come on, you can't do that to them. Even if you brush your teeth, it's the smell still lingers. And so a lot of people think, well, if we're, if we're both eating it, <clears throat> no, no, no. If you're both eating, it, you're both gonna be miserable. Yeah, it's not like they cancel each other out. Uh, it sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> It'll smell like the back seat of a old taxi cab <laughs> if, if you both eat it. Definitely, yeah. definitely don't want to do that, you guys. Definitely. No onions. No, definitely hold the onions. Uh, if you're a big onion person, dude, just just fucking wait, just wait. And no, like once you're with the person, who knows? Maybe maybe you set your boundaries tonight. I'm gonna have onions, but I think Valentine's Day is one where you know you should be kissable at least. That's just me. That's just yeah. me. And uh, uh, green. This next one, well, wow, people are really gonna think <laughs> we're campaigning against healthy foods, uh, because my next one is one that is found in menus all across fancy restaurants everywhere: asparagus. And it's definitely one that will find its way close to you this Valentine's Day, because uh, I usually go to a fancy place, you know, that have like steak, asparagus, potatoes, kind of all comes in together. Uh, but you got to be very careful with that, you know, because we all know 
that when you eat asparagus, it makes a little certain smell come down there when you pee. But you might ask, well, Carlos, what does smelly pee have to do with sex? I'm not R. Kelly. I'm not into that. Well, guys, ever heard of a squirter? Pardon my friend. Yeah, your mom. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> well, squirting is mostly made of pee, you guys. It's mostly made of pee. Ew. So I actually know a friend who put this to the test and uh, had a date with a lady. She had the asparagus. Then he did things with her, uh, you know, did the old uh, tongue DJ action. And apparently it smelled just. Uh, (laughs) It smelled smelled terrible. I I, I, uh, spell out my eight names in cursive. (laughs) They're they're done through the midway through the fourth name. Uh, Oh yeah, so apparently did that, and uh, it smelled awful afterwards. So uh, it's been confirmed that you know, girl squirts are basically pee. So <laughs> if you eat the asparagus, it's gonna smell awful. If you're a squirter, if you're not a squirter, enjoy the asparagus, I guess. <laughs> because okay, so it says online, Google says. Um, female ejaculate contains enzymes and protein, including, including creatine and urea. Isn't urea just urine? Yeah. Right. That's what it is. Ugh. But you know what though? I don't understand. Where does it all come from? Because I've seen videos where like girls like, like squirt after squirt after squirt after squirt. I'm like. Because guys, like after I bust a load, I need like a good twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm down for a while. Rejuvenate. I back, like, Ooh. <laughs> so I don't understand how girls can do it over and over and over. Well, they drink it's a lot of water because that's what it says. Uh, squirting. This is from PubMed. Dot NCBI. Dot NLM. Dot NIH. Dot gov. So this is a government site, you guys. Uh, squirting is essentially the involuntary emission of urine during sexual activity. <laughs> so maybe they just have a lot of water. <laughs> you know what? If if, if, if I was rain. dating a <laughs> ugh, if I was dating a, a squirter, I wouldn't want to have sex on my sheets. I would have to lay down some towels, maybe even some trash bags, like a tarp. That's true. Right. Ew, that would ruin your you can't have sex anywhere that would i don't want pee on all my because that that's a hard smell to get out like if a cat pees like you like your whole house is fucked but that's, damn like but to be fair this is also being generous to most men assuming that they can get their lady uh to you know finish up <laughs> they gotta finish i'm not saying that you know Sometimes girls just might do it on their own. That's but when true. you're at work, knowing that your special someone is just like pissing all over the house, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, those are my new sheets. <laughs> my grandma bought them for us. <laughs> so I can catch my little boys in a tissue. Yep. That's not going to help a squirter. Yep. <laughs> You're gonna need to wear a helmet if you're going down there, or uh, nope. old laundry. That's why I chose to be gay. I was like, "This is fucking gross." Like, girls are gross, man. Siva was presented two lists. <laughs> he saw he saw that on the girl list. He's like, "Nope, uh, I'll definitely just rather take a facial." <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. So asparagus. No good. And what else is no good for me specifically and for a lot of Americans? Well, I, don't, I shouldn't say Americans. A lot of people out there. A lot of people are not able to digest dairy. I think specifically it's like lactose, which is like the sugar in milk, I think. But if you're lactose intolerant, then yeah, you should definitely avoid dairy before a date. Whether or not you're gay, it doesn't matter. Like I don't want any action downtown if like I've got the runs, but also don't want to take a dump at someone's house. Like even if you've had successful intercourse without any like issues, 
in the middle, middle of the night or the following morning, like you are going to blow their bathroom up. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't think anyone wants to hear or smell the aftermath. So just avoid dairy. I think most people should avoid dairy. If I think about mac and cheese, I get gas. <laughs> but can you imagine if I take a bite of mac and cheese? Like it's going to Russia and their bombs have nothing on me post mac and cheese. And, and you, you already hear first. Depend on someone's bathroom on early dating. You know what I mean? Or, or, or like big nights like that. Cause you never know what you're going to find in there. Like, uh, I was seeing this girl, the last girl I dated before Julie. And, uh, she lived in an apartment with like three other girls here in Hoboken. And, uh, you know, they would regularly have pre games parties, but a lot of people would come over there. And one of the early nights that I stayed there, uh, all of a sudden I realized, yeah, damn, I gotta take a shit. And, they had two bathrooms, luckily, so it's not like you're hogging the one bathroom. Uh, so I sneak into it, and I try to be good, but I realized that I really had to pee real bad first. And I, I don't know for whatever reason, I just decided to pee first. And I lift up the toilet seat, and I see like no, the top of the toilet looks very clean. But when I lift up the toilet seat, I guess they didn't know that sometimes people miss there. There's like crusty pee all over the toilet. And I'm like, oh, no, I can't sit here. I literally can't sit on here. So I literally made up a lie and had to go home so I could take my poop and just wobble <laughs> my ass 10 blocks. <laughs> so I take my poop. I'm like, oh, because I couldn't fucking. No, I would have done. I would have went down to the laundry room and stood up in the utility sink. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Oh god, that's awesome. I have a friend that has this attachment hose type thing in their shower and they shove up their butt as like a douche. Oh and I was like, wait, so when that stuff comes out, do you make the effort to go walk over to your toilet or are you just like like cleaning out your butthole in your shower? That's disgusting. Like your shower pipes are gonna be clogged from poop. <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot of gays that do that. Really? Uh, they just give them homemade yeah. animals. <laughs> my my best friend who's passed, rest in peace. He's not here, so he won't care if I say this. But one time he had like food poisoning really bad. And he was at the time living at the YMCA. I didn't know that he like rented rooms. Did you know that? No idea. The YMCA like rents rooms for really huh. cheap. If you're like a nomad or just like traveling, he paid like under 400 bucks a month just for like a room okay. and it was like dorm style like bathrooms so it was like a oh. shower like a like a communal bathroom uh shower stalls and toilets right and he was in the shower and he was so sick and he pooped himself in the shower but who cares you're in the shower and um not, uh, not a public like, shower <laughs> i'm fucking sitting there trying to get in the shower and i see some guy shitting himself in it <laughs> it's gonna ruin my day I was like, what did you do and he told me, he's like, there's two types of people. One type of person will lift up the turd and carry it over to a toilet and flush it. He said, but I'm the type of person that will stomp that shit down through the drain. And I thought, I wonder what kind of person I am. I don't know. Am I a stomper or a picker up or I don't know. Those are your only two options. Oh. You know, what are you? I honestly, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know if I want to stomp it or pick it up, but maybe I would, uh, Depends if the, if the shower either, is strong enough. You like trying to turn it on, you know, <laughs> as loud as it can. And either it's, it's going to touch your feet or it's going to touch your fingers. Ah! Oh, I, I, I guess I'd rather touch my feet. Because then, you know, right? you know, you don't have shit fingers. But then you have you run the risk of clogging your drain and everyone's going to know. That's true. But with enough Were you the one telling me that some girl pooped in the tub at a yeah. party? Yeah. At college, they're all sitting on the edge of the of the <laughs> top, pissing, and one let out a one turd. Just let out a poop. <laughs> they were having a communal she pee. Have... And someone, it, someone when... brought a dookie into the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, they when were... we were younger, they didn't have stilettos. They had those like platform flip flops, yep, right? Yep, yep. 
she, she was just taking her platform flip flop and I just shoved it down the drain. Just stomped on it. Imagine you going to the next At morning. least you fill up your hands with water and you dump it in front of the poop and just kind of guide it down to the drain. You know? Man, what a foul bitch. Oh. If I ever knew who that was, I would have called her out on it. Girl. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, God. Why'd, you, why'd you take a big ass live turd in my tub? Dumb hoe. Oh, it's bad. God, that's terrible. People aren't raised right these days. Nope. I, I, never in my life. Oh, God, that's terrible. Well, anyway, don't eat dairy. Uh, this, don't eat dairy, guys. This conversation, on a before date. This conversation we're having, though, is a perfect segue to the last one on the list. Uh, because uh, uh, this one applies don't to everyone. Eat you don't eat vagina. beans. <laughs> You're going to get peed on. <laughs> yeah. No beans, you guys. You don't want to eat beans. Because think about it. How are, you, how are you supposed to do the bendovers, the doggy styles, the reverse cowgirls or cowboyses when you have a loaded gun ready to go off at any moment? Let's get started with anal either. You're asking for a fucking crime scene if you eat beans. You wanna, You're not going to pull out a dick with a party hat. You're going to pull out a straight up chili dog. So, uh, you know, a reverse cowgirl, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that anyway because reverse cowgirl is the number one way that people break a dick. Ooh. You know that? Yeah, I never, I never really do that. But you know, humans were made with interlocking bodies, but we're we're not like like innate acrobats. No. no. Acrobats? Acrobatics? Acrobats. Yeah. We're not we're not innate gymnasts. So like <laughs> your body just doesn't like connect that way. So you do reverse cowgirl, you're gonna break his dick. <sighs> Especially if you're jumping up and down on it, it's Ooh. gonna it's gonna break. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not. Luckily, that's not one that's in my arsenal, to be honest. But uh, yeah, some people, some people like to do it. So I was inclusive, being inclusive, you know. But you don't want to do it. No beans, you know. You have someone there. You're doing a little doggy style, and then you end up with a little doggy style pl- splatter all over your chest. Not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. And Ew, beans, that's so gross. And beans like coffee; they go, they go right fucking through you too. It's not; it does not take long. Uh, we will say coffee's quicker, but beans are definitely deadlier. <laughs> Is this all beans, like baked beans and garbanzo beans? I would say uh, mostly the baked kinds. I haven't really heard of garbanzo beans giving you. What about lima beans? <laughs> I think lima can still give you. Give you some, give you some gas. Would would you consider um, green beans to be beans and like peas? Nah, that's like a vegetable. And like snap peas. That's okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, lima beans do help you poop, and it it helps in digestion by helping stool pass through your body more quickly, according to WebMD. So uh, yeah, you're asking for it. You're asking for it. And you just don't want to. So I went somewhere recently and they had succotash on the menu. And I was like, what is that? And someone was like, you don't know what that is? It's like, it's like lima beans and corn or something. And they're like, everyone knows what succotash is. I'm like, no, no, no. Sylvester the cat yeah. would say suffering succotash. succotash. <laughs> and that's all I know. Yeah, it's sweet corn with lima beans or other shell beans. That looks good. And like, like onion. But I think to myself, like, yeah, why, yeah, yeah. why are white people. White people just love to try to make like, like vegetables fun. Like just, just tell your kid to fucking eat it. No, totally. If you want to live to see the next day, just eat this shit. You don't have to make create like a fun name for it. Like vegetables as a kid just aren't fun. Just make them fucking eat it. Yeah, it's like a vegetable in. medley. Like the the basic vegetable medley you would see in like a grocery store. It's like it's nothing. You if you look, I just had no idea that, that was called succotash. I just thought it was like a vegetable medley. Um. But, uh, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, and actually with beans, I have some firsthand experience. Me and Julie's first date was a taco place. We had, I ordered a taco platter, literally brought like 14 different kinds of tacos. Brings you a little side dish there, a little rice, some cheese, fuck ton of beans. What did I do? I said, ate everything else, left the little beans there. No, I'm, I will not be having these beans, sir. You can take them away. And they took the beans away. Julie also did not eat the beans. And note, we didn't have sexy time the first time. But if we had, we would have been prepared. I was like looking at looking at the bean situation. And she politely 
refused hers as well. And I was like, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> She's smart. I always say, todavía, no frijoles, por favor. <laughs> Nunca. <laughs> Yeah, you're Bad gonna, news. You want to hold the beans Cause, or else you're going to make them later. Huh? That we promise you guys. So that was our top 10 foods to avoid if you want to have some sex time tonight on Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. So you're welcome. What you thought of our list. Let uh, us know how sex time was. Draw us a picture. Send us a video. We, we're interested. You, know. <laughs> you got a new move? Show the world. That's right. That's right. And, uh, Sorry to Mama Mo that half of this episode, at least, was talking about poop again. Uh, if you're listening, <laughs> she doesn't like she that. You. She says we talk about poop too much. It's true, especially her whole pooping situation. But you know, we don't go there. <laughs> so let us know what you thought of our list. Give us a follow uh, on all social channels at Frat Chat Podcast. That's on Facebook. That's on Instagram. That's on Twitter. And uh, check out our YouTube page at. Uh, to, uh, at youtube.com slash at frat chat podcast i just had a stroke over there and uh also wherever podcast provider you're on give us a like and subscribe and tell people what you think about us you know, a little positive review goes a long way you know uh just saying nice if you though. don't like us don't say anything <laughs> yeah. don't say anything at all <laughs> these guys fucking suck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep those to yourself, hopefully. <laughs> but again, you got a really negative today. review one time because I told this kid that he can't use the name Frat Chat because we had it trademarked. Yeah. And he went online and said, nah, yeah. these guys suck. <laughs> no. It's Don't true. be mad because we jumped you. We, 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 we uh, um, beat you to the bunch. Yeah. Sure. Fucker. <laughs> and make sure you give me a follow as well at Carlos Does the World. That's on Instagram. That's on Facebook. That is on TikTok. Give me a follow on Twitter at Carlos Does World. And follow my YouTube page at youtube.com slash at Carlos Does the World. And last but not least, follow my good buddy Seema over there at chris.more.comedy on Instagram and TikTok. And see more comedy on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Much All right, Mr. Mo, it's time to get your poopy on <laughs> before dinner time. So, why don't you get us out of here? Enjoy our day, our Valentine's Day. All right, guys, I motion to adjourn this meeting. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> and I second. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. See ya.